Hey everyone, Caveman here. I had to take a break from MW3 because Armor Core 6 Ranked Mode is out! And it is incredibly hard. It has been the culmination of over 10 years of waiting for a solid mech ranked game. And it's finally out. And Armor Core 6 just won Action Game of the Year. And it has brought the most competitive, driven, raging monster within me. I have just unfortunately learned I'm just not as good at this game as I wanted to be. I think I've plateaued at the B rank, at least for now. Uh, at the time of this recording, S rank is still empty, so the difficulty will get easier as those hardcore players push into A and S ranks, but I fully expected to reach S rank within the first two days, stomping on noobs, only to find out reaching each rank would be a humbling experience. In this video, I'm going to share the tough lessons I learned while trying to reach the top. I'm also going to rant about some things that FromSoft needs to fix in this game. First, if you're someone, a bright and hopeful who just finished Act 2 of the campaign, you unlock PvP and you're thinking, hey, I'll go beat on some players in PvP. Think again, buddy! I'd strongly suggest finishing the campaign, unlock all the parts, beat all the arena ACs, then you may step foot in the PvP arena. What you need to realize is that some of these players have 200 to 400 hours of gameplay. I personally have 150, and that's not including the past AC games. And even with that, you're probably going to get wrecked time and time again. Now, let's assume you do have those prerequisites done. Let's dive in some tips and tricks. The first one is about expectations. You need to be ready to lose, and not because you are bad or because your build is bad, but because naturally they're going to be builds that you just don't have answers for, a rock, paper, scissors situation. You might be able to win some upsets, but don't expect to win every game. Now, if you take this information and apply it to your current rank, try to get a feel of what's being played the most. Know that every rank has its own shifting meta. You will then need to find the best counter to the top one or two builds being played. I'll use the example of what I was being used heavily at the, the C rank when I made it through to B. Uh, they were using the needle pistols, a melee weapon, and then uh, they would have a couple different shoulder parts variety. Now, in this case, I built an AC that was tanky and long range, uh, made with a, a mace, uh, or the, the nope rope as I'm calling it, uh, so that when they charged me, I had, a, had something to, to give them uh, a nice little present. Now, they usually were unable to stagger me on their first charge, but they were really squishy, and they staggered really easily. So I could easily blow them up once they came in from my long range weapons, hit them with the nope rope, and they pretty much got deleted from there, I, or I could run away, keep launching my long range missiles. Um, missiles and, and equipment, and I won almost 10 straight games all the way to B, destroying a bunch of super light, lightweight, aggressive builds, and that was before anyone could come up with a counter build. I would, however, I lost a couple times to some missile boats because they had the ultimate long range, and I was a slow, tankier uh, biped. So there was a trade-off, but I knew most people were not playing missile boats at the time. So th that's one way you can kind of grow and, and extend on the ladder. The next tip I'm going to give you is to just fully drop your ego. Like, I came in here thinking I was a master AC builder, but some builds will just be better than yours. It's okay to copy an opponent's build. At the end screen, if what they had really surprised you and you think you'd use, check the build, take a screenshot, and save for later. And what you can do is apply your innovation and your like particular play style to adapt their build to be more fitting to what you like. And, and that's what I think is the best way to really grow in the long term when you're trying to climb the ladder. Once again, some of these players have almost three months worth of full-time gameplay in the armor core. So, you know, you really got to think they know how to make an optimized build. Now, this doesn't mean just copy their build and run it back in ranked. You need to train on it for a while and, and to understand its key functionality and nuances. Go to the AC tester, the arena, custom matches. Don't waste your rank points learning the build. The next tip I'm going to go about is stagger. Uh, you know, obviously a key function in this game. Once you have a good feel for what is being played a lot of, this is important to try and set up your build so you can actually survive that first wave being dished out. You should also have a build where your weapons and equipment will be able to stagger them when you actually hit your full combo. If you can win that stagger game, you're going to win most games. Now, it's time to talk about some of the most infuriating things in PvP right now. First, 
is the desync lag. And it is really quite ridiculous. You got people intentionally playing on Wi-Fi, using weapons and abilities that require precision dodging to beat, and that, that are generally easy to avoid. But you can't avoid something if you can't see it before it hits you. This has been abused at the B ranks, and, and I think that it's why I'm done. It's absolutely ridiculous. You get these laser boats that just use charged lasers that are impossible to dodge, or any build that requires landing a boost kick and then you just nuke them with a chainsaw. There's no counterplay. Even if you dodge early, you still get hit. Feel free to call me a trash player, but look at this clip. I'm sorry, did, did you see that hit me? Cause it didn't, it did not hit me. All right, I'm done, I'm done, like actually done. And it just ruins the game. You have these garbage players at the B ranks, even though they should never have even gotten past D, like, I personally think there's going to be a lot of players who stop playing, uh, especially at the A and B ranks, because you have to win one in three or one in two games. If you if you lose half your games due to like just lag, yeah, you're going to get really mad really fast. So I, I really think that FromSoft, you need to fix that ASAP. Now, the actual worst is the Alt F4 exploit. If you're using this, I hope a scammer gets access to your bank, your identity, your crypto funds, everything. You're a trash human being. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm only sharing this so that you can retweet uh, or whatever it's called nowadays uh, so that we can get FromSoft to fix it. That is, you can Alt F4 at any point in a battle and it'll be counted as a draw. Even if you've already beaten them one round, and then they just surrender, they alt F4, it counts as a draw. Those tryhard abusers are probably in the A ranks now, and they just need to be banned from soft. If someone disconnects, it should count as a loss, period. I don't care if your internet's not good, go get a new one. I I'm sure, I'm sure you can see those who have a suspicious amount of draws. I want them banned or at least reset all the way to the bottom, waste their time. It's just ridiculous. They didn't earn that. They don't deserve it. They just alt F4 every time they're about to lose. I, I, I'm i so mad and infuriated by that. Like these two need to be fixed before I will put any more amount of time into this game. It just makes a bad experience. And I, and I wanna say it's almost there. It is so incredibly fun to battle out even when I lose. And, and th when there's no desync and, and you just get to battle, like really, it's everything I dreamed of for ranked. But hey, I would love to hear what you think about the ranked mode and, and ranked situation and just what your feeling is. I haven't played any 3v3s yet, so if you've been in there a lot, share what it's like. I might pop in there because the desync won't be as bad. But uh, otherwise, that's a wrap. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.